Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm Sister Naomi. And I am Sister Miriam. And we'll be hosting Sabbath School Online. Let's start by greeting everyone who joined us this lovely morning. Welcome to Sabbath School, children, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, children. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, teachers. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, Jesus. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath School, everyone. I hope you had an amazing week with your family and friends. I know that God has been good to me this week and I praise him for it. What's your praise report for this week? Now that we've welcomed everyone, let's pray. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed Sabbath day that you have been with each and every single one of us. Father God, we ask that we may be able to worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask that, Lord, as we come together as one in Christ, we ask that, Lord, that you will bless our families, bless our friends. Keep us from harm's way. We ask that you will allow us, Lord, to increase in your word and your wisdom and your truth. We ask that we may continue to be the light for others and we may speak of your good name of your death, your resurrection, and your coming. We ask that, Lord, that you bless our family and friends. Keep us underneath your watchful eye. Bless this day. Bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, I humbly do pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we wish all those who are celebrating this birthday this week a very happy birthday. We pray that God will continue to bless you as you grow in his grace and favor. Before we start, this would be a good time to pause the video and begin writing out this week's lesson and the memory verse. Ready? Ready? Let's, Let's begin. begin. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Hannah's Special Baby. Today's memory verse is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 17. It says... May God grant you what you have asked of him. The message for today's story is we serve God when we help others. Have you ever felt really sad about something? So sad that you cried? That's how Hannah felt. It's time to get ready for our trip to the tabernacle to Shiloh, Elkanah said to his wife Hannah one morning. It's almost time for the feast. Hannah smiled. I'll pack everything we'll need, she said. Each year, Hannah and Elkanah traveled to Shiloh to worship at the tabernacle there. But every time they went to Shiloh, Hannah felt a bit sad. She thought back to the early days of her marriage. Many years had gone by, and Hannah had not had any babies. Oh, how she and Elkanah would love to have a baby of their own. Finally, Elkanah and Hannah began their journey toward Shiloh. The road was very crowded with other families and it seemed as if every family had children. Oh, how Hannah wished she had a child! At Shiloh they worshipped in the tabernacle. When it was time for the special feast meal, Elkanah gave Hannah an extra serving. He wanted to make up for the child that she did not have. Hannah closed her eyes tightly, but the tears still leaked out. Hannah, Elkanah said, don't be sad because you have no children. Isn't having me better than ten sons? He teased. After the meal, Hannah slipped away to the tabernacle. Oh, Lord, she prayed. If you gave me a son, I would give him back to you. He would serve you all of his life. Eli, an old priest, watched Hannah closely. She hugged herself tightly and rocked back and forth. Her lips moved, but no sound came out. The old priest was sure she had been drinking wine. What are you doing coming in here drunk? he demanded. Hannah was shocked. I'm not drunk, she exclaimed. I was just pouring out my problem to the Lord. Eli's frown disappeared. In that case, cheer up, he smiled. God has heard your prayer. May the God of Israel give you what you have asked for. Hannah suddenly felt her great cloud of sadness disappear. Oh, thank you. Thank you, she said to Eli. 
Hannah walked slowly back to Elkanah. She just knew God was going to answer her prayer for a son. Hannah couldn't wait to tell Elkanah about her visit with the old priest. Eli had given her hope. This podcast was brought to you by Gracelink.net and Studio El Piso in Singapore. For more children's resources, please visit Gracelink.net. Welcome back, boys and girls, and happy 4th of July. I hope that you enjoyed today's story, Hannah's Special Baby. Our story can be found in 1 Samuel, verses 1 through 18. 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. Now there was a certain man of Ramahathaniah, Sophim, of the Mount of Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elu, the son of Tuha, the son of Zephu, and an Ephronite. And he had two wives, the name of one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Peninnah. And Peninnah had children, but Hannah had no children. This man went up from his city yearly to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. Also the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priest of the Lord, were there. And whenever the time came for Elkanah to make an offering, he would give portions to Peninnah, his wife, and to all her daughters and all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah he would give a double portion, for he loved Hannah, although the Lord had closed her womb. And her rival also provoked her severely to make her miserable, because the Lord had closed her womb. So it was year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord that she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? Why is your heart grieved? Am I not better to you than ten sons? So Hannah arose after they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh. Now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat by the doorpost of the tabernacle of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of the soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. Then she made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you indeed look upon the affliction of your maidservant and remember me, and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a male child, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall come upon his head. And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli watched her mouth. Now Hannah spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. But Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor intoxicating drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Do not consider your maidservant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief I have spoken until now. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition, which you have asked of him. And she said, Let your maidservant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. Today's memory verse can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 17. 1 Samuel 1, verse 17. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition which you have asked of him. This week we learned about Hannah, the wife of Elkanah. In the Torah, Hannah is said to have gone up to the temple with her husband on the day of Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. The word itself means a day of remembrance or a day of judgment. On this day, the people came before the Lord and he defined their fate for the coming year. When Hannah goes to cry out to the Lord, she's essentially asking God to remember her and bless her with a male child. We will see next week that God does remember her and answer her prayer. During the holidays, Hannah's lack of child was most apparent, for while Penya had many children to surround her at the table, Hannah had none. Elkanah was not insensitive to Hannah's plight, so he gave her double the blessing, but Hannah's heart desired a child of her own. It had been said that Penya provoked Hannah that she might go to God at the temple. However, it only served to make Hannah more miserable. When Hannah did go to the temple, she prayed in her heart that God would change her situation and give her a son. She promised that if God answered her prayer that she would dedicate her son back to the Lord all the days of his life. Eli, who was a priest of the Lord, thought she was drunk and rebuked her. 
But Hannah explained that she poured her out her heart out to God and was not drunk. From there, Eli not only apologized to Hannah, but he blessed her, saying that God would answer her prayer. Despite her difficult problem, Hannah left the temple with her husband full of promise and faith that God would answer her prayers. Parents, please take the time to help answer the following questions with your children. Question one, why was Hannah sad? Question two, what did Hannah pray for? Question three. What did Eli think of Hannah? Was he correct? And question four. What should we do when we are sad? In summary, God can help us through all of our circumstances, even difficult ones, and we can help others too. One, we, one way we can help is by serving others, comforting them, and praying for them. Remember that when we help others, we are serving God. As we pray, let us ask God to help us serve others and comfort them. So bow your heads and close your eyes to pray with us. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for just being with us and keeping us and watching over us. Lord, we ask that you help us to walk with you and to have a close and personal relationship with you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you help us to read your word and to understand it, to pray without ceasing, and to come to know you and do your work faithfully. Lord, we ask that you help us to serve others and to comfort them when they're sad. We ask that you help us and that you continue to comfort us and that you continue to remind us that you want us to be joyful and you want us to live our life for you. So Lord, we just thank you for just keeping us, for loving us, and for sacrificing your son on the cross for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Sabbath School Online. Just like Bob and Larry always say, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Shalom. Shalom.